I love Halloween. I love horror. Well, the Halloween song made its triumphant return. Yeah, this is a perfect video for it, I thought. People love the Halloween song. I don't understand why. They must have really bad taste. I mean, they are here, so I guess that makes sense. So if you haven't already seen it, there's a Casey Jones Freddy Funko. Where the f did that come from? Up someone's butt. You know, I really expected the real answer. I mean, where else would it come from? Let's think about this logically. Funko leaks happen, right? But nobody knows where they come from. So here's my thought. Someone breaks into Funko. They got a ski mask on or like maybe they got a Freddy Funko mask on. It was not our Freddy Funko, so don't even go there. Freddy Funko mask on, something that keeps them anonymous. They take the pop, sh shove it up their prison purse, go out, pull it out, and then they got it. Hashtag prison purse. You just called a butt a prison purse. You never heard that before? No. <laughs> I've never. I, now I understand it after I said it a couple times. But no, I've never heard that. So there's a Casey yeah, Jones. Because Freddy it keeps it concealed. I understand what the point is. In prison. So there's a Funko Pop. That's where you put the nail files. I understand. There's a Freddy Cell Funko. Files. There's a Freddy Funko as Drugs. Casey Jones from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it looks really great. The photo that was taken of this Funko Pop is on a phone. Yeah. From a live stream. That's what it looks like, yeah. I have no idea where the person got the photo. I love that we're getting leaks and I hope we get more because that's what makes all this fun. We need I some fun time leaks. here. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's rewind. Remember the fun on the run boxes about how Funko like put out those but that's the Funko boxes. leaking their own stuff or showing you a photo of what it looks like. Okay, I like that their leaks are listen, coming up like this. this is in those same videos where you complained about how the fun on the run box was, you talked about how you liked that the box of fun was not getting any leaks. You can shove that poor attitude up your prison purse. Yeah. I'll show it up yours. I'm not saying that I like leaks like all the time, but for this specifically, I think this is fun because now we can sit back and wonder what the hell else is going to be from whatever this is. We knew that there was no Fright Night, but we did know that there was a box of fun. That's what we've been told. You're being a hypocrite. Ask me what that means. It's like a hypocrite, but a lit. <laughs> Is it all, excuse me, what'd you say? <laughs> Last year, the, the Fright Night tickets went up September 22nd. However, they announced Fright Night at SCCC. If there was a Fright Night, number one, I don't believe Fugitive would be holding their event. Number two, I believe they would have announced it at SCCC. There would have been some sort of hype by now. Speaking of the Fugitive event, that thing sold out like really fast. Instantly. The website was a disaster. Eventbrite is horrible. If you're going to sell tickets to anything, I beg everybody out there, do not use Eventbrite. Well, here's the thing. It's a limited event because it's such a sought after thing because people know there's no Fright Night. I really think that it's just an overload of people. I think stuff like this needs to fall in a queue system similar to the NFT stuff and similar to what Funko has been doing lately. I don't disagree, but I believe that a lot of times people bypass that. So I don't know how much it would matter. Right, you know? right. Yeah, you're right. But anyway, the Fugitive tickets went out really, really fast. And to those who got their tickets, congratulations Congratulations! You. you won't be seeing the Gasso cast because we didn't get any. Nope. But it's okay. We can, you know, try in other years. So, so far we know of two Freddy Funko Pops that are in the heavy metal Halloween. There's a Freddy Funko with a skull face mm -hmm. with a Freddy Funko mask hanging off the side of his head. Mm -hmm. And now you have the Casey Jones Freddy Funko. What I'm wondering is, are all the characters included in this box characters with like masks? Because this is now the second character with a mask on. Interesting. So we're talking like killers. Will there be a Freddy Funko as Jason? as an example, and then you have a bloody Jason, right? Because you always have like that chase sort of variant or a glow in the dark. I'm thinking that's the route they're gonna go. And I thought Freddy Funko as Ghostface. Maybe, but here's the thing. They're calling it heavy metal Halloween. So I would imagine- I think heavy metal has to do with their booth. <laughs> right, but the booth, it's, it's rock themed. So why would they have the heavy metal Halloween sticker on it if it had nothing to do with metal? That's where I'm confused. Or maybe these Funko Pops are gonna be at the booth itself. I don't maybe know. Maybe it's semi Halloween, semi heavy metal. Maybe some Funko Pops inside the box. What will if we be get an Ozzy Osbourne biting the head off a bat? That would be amazing. I mean, 
up. They they wouldn't do that. With that. They definitely wouldn't do it that. It actually should be Freddy Funko biting the head off a bat. Freddy Funko, Ozzy. As Ozzy, yes. But the box of Fright could be really awesome, especially if it's a bunch of characters with masks on. Of course, I'm just making my guess because we've seen two Funko Pops with masks on, but I'm thinking about it in like in my head, like all the different characters that we could see Freddy Funko as wearing a mask, like Michael Myers, the Scream Ghost Face character. You could just say Ghost Face. Everybody knows who that is. Leatherface? I mean, I know there's a Leatherface Freddy Funko from the past, but maybe there could be an updated one? I don't know. Pretty Woman. Oh, <gasps> the Pretty Woman one. Oh, how amazing would that be? Mm -hmm. So when last year did the Box of Fright actually drop? All I know is that it happened before New York Comic Con because it got delivered while we were at New York Comic Con. And right. remember, we had to wait until we got home. So then I would imagine that this box is going to come out right before New York Comic Con again this year. Maybe because last year, remember, they did the Box of Fun before San Diego Comic Con. And then this year they did it as San Diego Comic Con was going on. So last year was a bit of a flop for that box? Yeah, so they had the Nosferatu or Hannibal boxes, which were great. I loved those two characters. But then they had a lot of unlicensed stuff. It was a lot of generic characters. Yeah, yeah, I was okay with it. Like, the zombies were cool. Yeah, they were cool. But remember they had, like, the Squid Games masked worker or yeah, something Like, yeah. that was weird. They were shoving Squid Games down our throat there for a while. Big but time. in Funko's defense, people were begging for Squid Games when Squid Games first came on. Well, yeah, but the thing is, like, they didn't realize how popular it was going to be, so they came out, like, way after Squid Games. They missed the mark 100%. Totally like, agree. Funko being as big as they are, with as much dough as they got, well, as much dough as they used to have, they should be able to, like, fast track that <laughs> Just say, hey, Give me Squid Games. And the factory should say, well, if we do that and we get it to you in two weeks, it's going to cost you $100,000. And Funko should be able to say, okay. Why is Funko calling the factory a That's just how you talk to your friends. Like, I greet you when I answer the phone. I see Chris on my cell phone. Look, you're calling me right now. Hey, b You never say that. I know. That's I a lie. <laughs> that really is a is. huge lie. I know. I normally call you my scrum diddly umptious cupcake. You also don't call me that. <laughs> no, I don't. So last year's box wasn't super popular. I know that there are some people out there, horror fans like us, that did like some of the Funko Pops, i.e. the zombie Funko Pops. Those are great. Some of the sodas were okay, but honestly, not a whole lot to be excited about. So I think this year they're going to go a different route. They're instead going to go hardcore because they know they screwed up last year. This year, they're going to hit it very hard. And these two Funko Pops that we've seen so far look fantastic. And I'm super excited about it. And I cannot wait to see what else they have in store for us. I'm imagining that there are going to be Funko Pops mixed with sodas, just like they've been doing for everything else. What if? Aren't they having a panel this year? I have no idea. You mean at, like, NYCC? Mm-hmm. Maybe? I think they're having something. If not, they did mention that there will be giveaways at their booth and stuff. That's great. What if they have a box that they're giving away at like certain times or something? That'd be kind of cool. I don't know. I'm curious. I really think that this is an online box. Like at first I thought it would be like just a con exclusive with like the limited number. The Skull when Freddy. We saw, yeah, because of the Skull Freddy. But now that there is a Casey Jones at it's been leaked. I'm very That's curious. Definitely, it's definitely a mystery box thing. It's They're both be. marked. One's 3,000, one's 3,500. Yeah. I think the Freddy with the skull face is more in tune with being at the booth. The Casey Jones is more in tune with being inside of a mystery box. But the heavy metal Halloween, I think, has something to do with with a mystery box because generally if it's at the booth it would have a new york comic-con exclusive sticker oh that's true oh you're right well wait though because yeah because remember the fright night freddy remember that so last year look fright night limited edition is what the at home stuff said right do you have the fright night freddy on hand yeah no 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 not that Oh, well, this says Fright Night New York limited 1700 no, pieces. No, 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 no. That's a that thing. was at Fright Night. I'm talking about the one that was at the booth. Oh, I don't have him on hand. Frightmare on Fun Street. Okay. And Frightmare on Fun Street was their booth name last year. This very well could be a booth pop. 
interesting. It might, it might not be a box. So these two Funko Pops we're talking about might not be inside of a mystery box. Maybe, because, and here's my conspiracy theory. Okay. The item, hold on, let me find one from the actual box of fun. So exclusive to Fright Night was Fright Night. And then if you look on the like the Nosferatu, for example, it says Fright Night. Even though it was in the box of Fright at home, it says Fright Night on it. Right. Whereas the Freddy Funko that was limited to 3,500 pieces that we got at the booth and some people got as a prize during Fright Night, it says Frightmare on Fun Street, which was the name of their booth. And right. the heavy metal is their booth. Oh. Yeah, but they could have gone cheapo and just used the same sticker across the board. But I'm saying, like, this could go either way now, because hmm. I didn't even think about the stickers until we're discussing it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really curious about this now. Like, it could be a box. It would be really weird for them just to randomly have a Freddy Funko as Casey Jones at the booth. Maybe they're handing it out at an event that they're going to have at New York Comic Con. They're not having an event unless you're talking about maybe a panel or That's something. That's what I'm saying. Maybe a panel. Are they having a panel? I'm seeing nothing for Funko under panels. So there's no Funko panel. I don't know. I don't know, but there, there's 3,500 of that Casey Jones. I'm telling you, it's going to be in a mystery box. It could be. And it's going to be a lineup of characters that are mask wearers. That's what I'm thinking. And then also some heavy metal people possibly sprinkled in. Yeah, I'm, I'm like lost. Because it, it could realistically go either way. All I know is both in person and at home were marked with a Fright Night sticker. Where that Freddy was marked with Frightmare on Fun Street. But maybe the mystery box is going to be called it Heavy Metal it Funko could be. It Box could be. or something. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like they would definitely do a mystery box for at home. That's what we've heard. We've heard rumblings of that. People told us this information in the past over the last couple of months. But it makes sense that they'll do it because it's always a very popular thing. It gets them a lot of hype. It does. It has a lot of people talking. Mm -hmm. People are like super crazy over getting a box. Yeah. So I think they're totally going to do it. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. And I hope those two Funko Pops are in it. Although I think the Freddy Funko with the mask like off to the side with the skull face, I think that's going to be a booth exclusive. Whereas the Casey Jones will be in the box. The stickers are almost exactly the same Different. Though. No, I, I understand what you're saying. They're different numbers, but the sticker is essentially the same. Whatever they're doing with like both of those pops is the same thing. So if one's in a mystery box, then the others in a mystery box too because it's the same sticker or the same style sticker. Well as I pointed out in a previous video the skull faced Freddy Funko has a blue shirt on the box and there's a black shirt on the one inside the box at least it looks that way and this one is a glow in the dark. There might be sort of a common and chase variant inside of the mystery box like we've had with past boxes. I think that that's sort of expected with stuff like this. I mean the box of fun at home you had the different variants the regular Green Ranger and the glow Green Ranger right? Yeah. This I would assume would be the lower version, the 3,000 glow in the dark. There might be like a uh, five or 6,000 regular. I've also noticed something different about the boxes. So the Freddy Bones has an SE. It's in a white circle with black lettering. The Freddy Funko S. Casey Jones is a black circle with white lettering. I don't know if that I have much. no idea if that has something to do with it or not. Also, if you look at the box with Freddy Funko as Casey Jones, the art for Freddy is a Freddy Funko. If you look at the Freddy Bones, it's actually a Freddy Bones. Yep. As an example, you have these two that have Freddy Funko. Nosferatu had the same yep. image. Mm -hmm. The one at the booth had the image of so I'm right. the Frightmare on Fright I'm telling you, I'm right. You might be. I'm 100% I don't know. right. I think that the Casey Jones is a box exclusive. It's going to be a mystery box. I think that's one of many. I think there's a lot more to see, and I'm excited. I'm I can't wait too. to see what happens. I do hope we get a Jason Voorhees, Freddy Funko. That'd be fun. That's what I want. I hope they do it. We need a regular version and a bloody version. Let's get both. Let's do it very hard. Well, I feel like mystery's been solved, and you can thank me. No, it I'm hasn't. The one that, I'm the one that figured it all out. You got the Casey Jones that'll be in a mystery box, and you got the other Freddy Funko that'll be a booth exclusive. Okay, but you're basing this on the box art. If you base it on the stickers Freddy and the pattern Bones from last will be at year. The booth and Freddy Funko as Casey Jones will be in a mystery box. What do you think of that? If you go off the sticker art, it's different. So I don't know how this is going to work. Shove that up your prison purse and smoke it.
You don't smoke things that are up your prison purse, Chris. That's dangerous. You don't want to light anything inside of your body. I do. I'm a little dangerous. For the record, I don't stick anything on my b and light it on fire. I just want to make that known in case anybody is going to take my joke the wrong way and believe I'm doing that because I don't do that at all ever. Yeah, it does. What? What do you think about these two items? Do you think they'll be sold at the show? Do you think there is gonna be like a box of fright sort of deal, a mystery box? How are these going to be sold or handed out or whatever? And also, how are people getting these? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. And before we go, I wanna to mention to check out 7 popcom for their Pop Shield armors. They have added new sizes to their Pop Shield armor collection. Did you see it? Yes, and they they are amazing. They added so many different sizes. Isn't that nuts? It is nuts. So if you need pop protection for your Funko Pops, go and check out 7 popcom Most likely, they have a case that'll fit like a glove. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon because you guys are awesome. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Gavin Holter, Gabriel Gotthard, Lewis Sutton, Jeremy Strecker, Nicholas Moser, BBB Meister 83, Past Tense 82, Noah Crisco, David Newman, and John McCormick. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock.